If you're staying in Milan, taking a day trip to Lake Como can be a very easy trip via train. Lake Como is located in northern Italy's Lombardy region and is an upscale resort area known for its natural beauty and dramatic scenery that's set against the foothills of the Alps. With its serene glacial waters, the lake itself is the deepest freshwater lake in Italy and is shaped like an upside down Y with three slender branches that meet at the resort town of Bellagio and just across the water from Verena and Menaggio, Lake Como's three most popular destinations to visit. The lake is the setting for the handsome villas on its shores and they are most popular to visit. We were looking to visit Verena and Bellagio. We started early knowing that these areas would get busy with tourists. It's early morning and we are headed to Milan Central to get on the train and head over to Lake Como. So we are on the train at Milan Central and we are headed to Lake Como for the day. So the train's gonna go to Verena and we'll start there and see what we find. We took the train from Milan Central and the trip took about an hour and 15 minutes to the Verena Asino Perlito stop in Verena, Lake Como. The train station is a little old train station with two casual platforms. Once we arrived, we walked down the hill, not too long of a walk, to the ferry station. Welcome to Verena. Since it was early, we decided to start our day in Bellagio. There are several ferries that go out, even ones where you can bring a car. But the schedules are a bit complicated to read, so verifying with the nice and helpful ferry workers was much appreciated. Arriving in Bellagio right before the stores opened was so calm and peaceful. Kind of the calm before the storm. Since it was early, we went to a cafe overlooking the lake to get some breakfast and enjoy the view. Definitely the prices of eating were higher in Bellagio than other Italian prices, but honestly, they were just the cost of American prices. It was so nice just to sit there and look out. We didn't have an agenda. I had already prior to our visit flagged the best villas and places to eat. So the day was ours to whatever adventure that we came up with. We wandered down the coastline and then I saw the famous Villa Melzi de Ero was up ahead. So we decided to head for that. It 
It was eight euro per person to visit. And once inside, you were greeted by an interesting cave and the beautiful English gardens. Inside, we were actually fortunate to witness a wedding proposal and snap some pics for them. The moment was a perfect fit to the extraordinary scenery that we were taking in. It was early May in Lake Como, but it was hot and we could feel the sun burning us. So after that, it was time to get that booty workout in and climb some stairs to check out the quaint shops of Bellagio and get some gelato. Along the way, we had passed several gelato places, but I had flagged one in particular that was all the way up the stairs that I knew had the best gelato in town, and that was Gelateria del Borgo. I'll leave it in my description, and sure enough, it didn't disappoint so good. When we were finished, we walked around a bit longer, and then decided to take the ferry back to Verena. By now it was mid-afternoon and Bellagio was packed and so was the ferry line. Once in Verena, it was time for us to get some real food in us. Verena is definitely much calmer and laid back than Bellagio.
We ate at the Vecchia Verena. We had split the risotto with lake fish and ate to some of the best views ever. It was simply stunning. I'll leave the restaurant in the description. After eating, we walked and climbed the walkways of Verena. Verena is all cliff, so walking was steep and lots of stairs. When we got to the Hotel Royal Victoria, we stopped for a bit and it's really beautiful. It's a great place to stop and have a drink. We also marveled at their gardens. We got as far as the Villa Monastero, but didn't go in. By then, our feet were feeling it, and we were pretty exhausted, so we headed back to the train station to buy a ticket back to Milan. Our day trip to Lake Como was one of the most beautiful experiences ever. I look forward to going back. See you next time.